everyone is full steam on execution. Uh, you'll know that on the 29th of June, we reached agreement between Suez on the one hand, Veolia on the other, and a consortium of investors to buy the new Suez. That's Meridium, GIP, Caisse de and CNP. So all of those pieces are in place, and now it's about execution. So this morning, uh, there was the formal announcement that Veolia's offer will open uh, as of tomorrow. That's a major step forward. We now go through the execution steps. So whether those are internal around uh, making sure that the two parts of the business are ready for day one, whether that's the antitrust process, uh, notably with Brussels, which is underway. And all of that should enable us to complete all parts of the transaction uh, towards the end of this year. So, so far, so good. There's a lot of work to do. I think the cooperation between all of the teams is excellent at the moment. Um, so it's full steam ahead. So just touch on, on several points there that were interesting. There were some reports about the government, the governance of the new uh, Suez and negotiations between all the different partners there. Uh, are we about to get uh, some more precision, more information on the new governance of Suez? So I think what the new owners have said uh, is that they'll want to reach a decision on that by the end of the month. Um, and I'm sure that they'll succeed in doing that. What's important to me is that when I look at the first half results and when I look at the two parts of the business, uh, whether it's the parts that are going uh, in the future to Veolia or whether it's the parts that are going to the new sewers, we're seeing all of the benefits of what we've done over the last two years flow through in order intake, in the top line, in profitability and in cash flow. So I think all of our employees, whether they go towards Veolia or whether they go towards the new sewers, they can both be proud of what they've delivered and also they can go forward with confidence that those two businesses will remain and be strong in the future. I was going to ask you about that, your strategic plan that you presented two years ago that you just mentioned the Suez 2030. So how much are you retweeting, uh, retweaking this plan uh, around the creation of this group, the part that will be integrated into Veolia and the new Suez? One of the fascinating things of the last 12 months, whether it's been looking through the pandemic or looking at Veolia, is testing what we put in place in 2019 strategically and operationally. It's come through both of those tests very strongly. Um, if anything, both the pandemic and Veolia have made us want to go faster. The pandemic, because our clients need us more, and Veolia, because we wanted to demonstrate to our shareholders the true value of the business that they own. Um, and we think, as a board, that in the 20.5 euros that Veolia has offered, um, we're uh, around that good value, and that's why the board uh, has recommended the Veolia offer. So I think not too much tweaking, not too much change, a validation of what we put in place. Um, and what we tried to do beginning in 2019, you see that in those in this first half results, whether it's through the PL, whether it's through the balance sheet as well, in de-gearing um, and improving our cash flows, improving our dividend potential for shareholders. And all of that, I think, has created value for them created value through the Veolia offer, but the value is definitely there for our shareholders.